Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week I'll be showing you a technique that you can use for creating and exporting panoramic images out of 3D Studio Max. Specifically we'll be looking at creating complete 360 degree views and you can use these as backgrounds for future renders. So the next few Monday movies are going to be a series. This is part one. I'm going to show you how to do this in 3D Studio Max. Next week, I'll show you how to take 360 degree panoramic renders in Eon Software's view. And then finally, in week three, I will show you how to bring either one of those images back into 3D Studio Max and use it for image-based lighting. Let's get started. This is a very basic scene. Take a quick render here. You can see that I'm just using a few area lights, a little bit of background elements. These could be anything. They could be mountains trees, clouds, whatever you need. So I'm going to go into my Create tab, I'm going to go to Cameras, and I need to create a free camera exactly where I want to take the 360 degree render from. Now if you're creating a panoramic walkthrough, like a virtual reality tour of an architectural design, for example, you want this to be somewhere realistic, like the, the user's height off the ground relative to the rest of your design. You'll also want the camera to be horizontal. Even though this is a 360 degree render, you still need this to be in a, in a reasonable position and orientation. In my typical style, I'm using the mental ray renderer. And it's very easy to do this particular technique in mental ray. You just go to the renderer tab, scroll down, under the camera effects rollout, camera shaders group, I'm going to click on the shader next to lens, where it says none, and I'm going to select the one at the bottom, wrap around, loom. There are no parameters with this particular shader. It's very straightforward. It does everything for you. Let's take a render. Oops. So I'm still in the perspective viewport. That's why it looks strange. I'm going to switch over, views, camera, and now I'll render again. Perfect, this is exactly what we wanted. I can now save out this image as a .hdr file from 3D Studio Max. So I'll say example, save, go ahead and overwrite. And I'm going to use non-clamped real pixel color channel data as my save setting. So I'll click OK. And now I'm done. That's how you export an HDR panoramic image from 3D Studio Max. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads on my website, www.mrbluesummers.com.